Ordinary people send their children to school to get smart, but what modern schooling teaches is dumbness. It's a religious idea gone out of control. You don't have to accept that, though, to realize that this kind of economy would be jeopardized by too many smart people who understand too much. Uh, listen, Chris, I'm not into name calling here. I think well, we've got I to. We... <laughs> Old fashioned dumbness used to be simple ignorance. Now it is transformed from ignorance into permanent mathematical categories of relative stupidity, like gifted and talented, mainstream and special ed categories in which learning is rationed for the good of a system of order. Dumb people are no longer merely ignorant, now they are indoctrinated. Their minds conditioned with substantial doses of commercially prepared disinformation dispensed for tranquilizing purposes. Jacques Ellul, whose book Propaganda is a reflection on the phenomenon, warned us that prosperous children are more susceptible than others to the effects of schooling because they are promised more lifelong comfort and security for yielding wholly. Quote, Critical judgment disappears altogether, for in no way can there ever be collective critical judgment. The individual can no longer judge for himself because he inescapably relates his thoughts to the entire complex of values and prejudices established by propaganda. With regard to political situations, he is given ready-made value judgments, invested with the power of the truth by the word of experts." Unquote. The new dumbness is particularly deadly to middle and upper-class kids already made shallow by multiple pressures to conform imposed by the outside world on their usually lightly-rooted parents. When they come of age, they are certain they must know something because their degrees and licenses say they do. They remain so convinced until an unexpectedly brutal divorce, a corporate downsizing in midlife, or panic attacks of meaninglessness upset the precarious balance of their incomplete humanity. Alan Bullock, the English historian, said evil was a state of incompetence. If true, our school adventure has filled the 20th century with evil. Eliel puts it this way, the individual has no chance to exercise his judgment either on principal questions or on their implication. Once personal judgment and critical faculties have disappeared or have atrophied, they will not simply reappear when propaganda is suppressed. Years of intellectual and spiritual education would be needed to restore such faculties. The propagandi, if deprived of one propaganda, will immediately adopt another. This will spare him the agony of finding himself vis-a-vis -vis some event without a ready-made opinion. According to all official analysis, dumbness isn't taught, as I claim it is, but is innate in a great percentage of what has come to be called the workforce. Workforce itself is a term that should tell you much about the mind that governs modern society. According to official reports, only a small fraction of the population is capable of what you and I call mental life, creative thought, analytical thought, and judgmental thought. Just how small a fraction would shock you. According to these experts, the bulk of the mob is hopelessly dumb, even dangerously so. If you believe nothing can be done for the dumb except kindness, because it's biology, if you believe capitalist oppressors have ruined the dumb because they're bad people, if you believe dumbness reflects depraved moral fiber, or it's nature's way of disqualifying boobies from the reproduction sweepstakes, or nature's way of providing someone to clean your toilet, or it's evidence of bad karma, if you believe any of the various explanations given for the position of the dumb in the social order we have, then you will be forced to concur that a vast bureaucracy is indeed necessary to address the dumb. Otherwise, they would murder us in our beds. Dumb people don't exist in sufficient numbers to warrant the careers devoted to tending to them. Mass dumbness first had to be imagined. It isn't real. Once the dumb are wished into existence, they serve valuable functions. As a danger to themselves and others, they have to be watched, classified, disciplined, trained, medicated, sterilized, ghettoized, cajoled, coerced, and jailed. To idealists, they represent a challenge. 
reprobates to be made socially useful. Either way you want it, hundreds of millions of perpetual children require paid attention from millions of adult custodians. An ignorant horde to be schooled one way or another.